Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Accounts Guru Cool. Learn accounting online. So today we are here with one more video, and in this video we are going to discuss about introduction to budgeting and budgeting processes. So we know uh, what is in the budget and what is in the forecastings. So related to that, what are all the processes related to the budgeting? So before that. We are discussing about introductions to the budgeting and budgeting processes. So request viewers to watch the video till the end, like the video, share the video, and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to accounting and finance. So here we are, the budget for planning and control. The time and money are scarce resources to all individuals and organizations. The efficient and effective use of these resources requires planning. Planning alone, however, is insufficient. Control is also necessary to ensure that plans actually are carried out. So that's the budget for planning and control. So why the budget is required? So whatever we are going to do, whatever we are doing, or whatever we will be going to do, for each and everything, the planning is must. And the alone planning also is not going to be work. So in addition to the planning, we have to put the some controls to ensure that whatever we have planned, either we are, going ahead as per the plan or not and that's the meaning of the budget and actual variances the budget for planning and control so budget is required for our planning and control so we are going to do the planning for futures in addition to the plan we are going to have the budgeted versus actual variance analysis in place as well to ensure whatever we have planned either we are going towards that directions or not and if not then what are what are all preventive measures we have to take in well in advance to ensure that we will align with our budget so that's the budget for planning and control a budget is a tool that managers use to plan and control the use of scarce resources. A budget is a plan showing the company's objectives and how management intend to acquire and use resources to attain those objectives. Through the budget, the management used to put certain plan in place and their objective to reach towards that plan. So for that, management is going to be utilize this budget to know where we are and to reach that what all our measures we have to put in place companies non-profit organizations and governmental units use many different types of budgets responsibility budgets are designed to judge the performance of an individual segment or manager Capital budgets evaluate long-term capex projects such as the addition of equipment or the relocation of a plant. So there are n number of budgets are there and uh, there are certain capex budgets as well to ensure that how we are going to do the investment in future. And this video examines the master budget which consists of a plan operating budget and a financial budget the plan operating budget helps to plan future earnings and result in a projected income statement and the financial budget helps management plan the financing of assets and results in a projected balance sheet so there are the operating budget and one is financial budgets. The budgeting process involves planning for future profitability because earning a resource reasonable return on resources use is a primary company's objective. A company must devise some method to do deal with the uncertainty of the future. A company that does no 
planning what's where choose to deal with the future by default and can react to events only as they occur most businesses however devise a blueprint for the actions they will take given the foreseeable events that may occur so the budget is going to give the help to the management to ensure and to see the futures related to some predictables where we are and how we are going to achieve for that a budget the budget is going to be shows management's operating plans for the coming periods formalize management's plans in quantitative terms forces all level of management to think ahead anticipate results and take action to remedy possible poor results and may motivate individuals to strive to achieve stated goals so that are all the benefits of the budget companies can use budget to actual comparisons to evaluate individual performance this is going to be as like the variance analysis for instance the standard variable cost of producing a personal computer at ibm is a budgeted figures these figures can be compared with the actual cost of producing personal computers to help evaluate the performance of the personal computer productions managers and employees who produce personal computers we will do this type of comparison in a later videos so this is going to be the comparative budgets budgeted versus actual that's a voras analysis many of the benefits results from the preparation and use of budgets for examples in addition to what we had discussed there are a lot of other benefits as well and the first one is, one is businesses can better coordinate their activities managers became aware of other managers plans employees became more cost conscious and try to conserve resources the company review the organization plan and changes it when necessary and managers foster a vision that otherwise might not be developed in addition to this this is also the further benefits of budget the planning processes that results in a formal budget provides an opportunity for various levels of management to think through and commit future plans to writing in addition a properly prepared budget allows management to follow the management's by exception principle by devoting attention to results that divide significantly from plan levels so that's all the added benefits from the budget for all these reasons a budget must clearly reflect the expected results failing to budget because of the uncertainty of the future is a poor excuse for not budgeting in fact the less stable the conditions the more necessary and desirable is budgeting although the process became more difficult obviously stable operating conditions permit greater reliance on past experience on basis for budgeting so even though ki if you know that you are going to be uh, the budget is going to be certain numbers and it's based on the assumptions and you are going to feel for that but still you have to keep the budget in place to have the better idea about the uh, where we are and how we are going to be reach at our destinations remember however that budget involve more than a company's past results budgets also consider a company's future plans and express expected activities as a result budgeted performance is more useful than past performance as a basis for judging actual results a budget should describe management's assumptions rela relating to so budget to describe management assumptions relating to the state of the economy or the planning horizon plans for adding deleting or changing production lines the nature of the industry competition 
the effect of existing or possible government regulations if these assumptions change during the budget period management should analyze the effects of the changes and include this in an evaluations of performance based on actual results so there are certain assumptions are there when we are preparing the budget and uh, the management assumptions is relating to that and if there is any change addition deletions are there then management is need to be analyze the effect of that change the budgets are quantitative plans for the future however they are based mainly on past experience adjusted for future expectations so how the budget is going to be work so budget we have to prepare based on the past experience and what we have related to the future informations and to doing the combination of these two things past versus futures we have to define the present thus accounting data related to the past play an important part in budget preparations the accounting system and the budgets are closely related so it means that so whatever the past data are there into the system that should be ensure the all the reliability checks controls and accuracy it was based on that we have to prepare the budget for the future period the detail of the budget must agree with the company's ledger accounts in turn the accounts must be designed to provide the appropriate informations for preparing the budget financial statements and interim financial reports to facilitate operational control so the budget should agree with the company's ledger account and we have to prepare from the system itself management should frequently compare accounting data with budgeted projections during the budget period and investigate any differences so that's going to be based on the actual versus budgeted variance analysis and management also is interested to know the reasons for that if any variances are there the budgeting however is not a substitute for good management instead the budget is an important tool of managerial control and managers make decisions in budget preparations that so as a plan of action so the how the budget is important the period covered by a budgeted variance but i budget varies according to the nature of the specific activity in wall cash budgets may cover a week or a month and the sales and production budget the sales and production budgets may cover a month a quarter or a year and the general operating budget may cover a quarter or a year or a year so there are a lot of budgets uh, varies account according to the nature of the specific activity in mall so that's all from this video and uh, thanks guys for watching the video till the end and what we learn from this video is that introductions to budgeting and budgeting processes thanks guys for watching the video till the end and uh, request viewers to like the video share the video and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to accounting and finance thank you